This week we were clearing off our memory cards and there was like a ton of unused France footage that was just gonna go to waste. So we decided to put all the footage together to give you a guide of what we think an ideal 24 hours in Paris would look like. My first note would be when we first got to Paris, we were in an Airbnb and it was okay, but then I feel like a game changer was when we went to- That Airbnb was a closet. <laughs> yeah, it was really tiny. <laughs> but I feel like a big game changer was when we went to our first hotel hotel in the city in the seventh, which is what they say. Actually, we have a clip of Marion telling me, I was like, how do you say ar arrondissement? And arrondissement. Arrondissement. Oh, arrondissement. You were okay. close. And it was so central and it was beautiful. And this is the bedroom. This place is called the Chateau Fontenot. It's like literally right down the street from the Arc de Triomphe. And it's always nice to say it's somewhere that's beautiful. It was central to all the different places that we wanted to go. So I would recommend kind of mapping out where you want to go and then finding a place that's really central because it makes things a lot easier. Second thing, so I'd recommend taking bikes everywhere because you get to see more of the city, you get exercise, so you work off all the bread. They're super cheap. <laughs> yeah, exercise, yeah. yeah. So get a bike card, bike around everywhere if you can muster it. Um, definitely worked off all of our macarons and bread and everything. What are your um, macarons? <laughs> You ate so many macarons. I ate macarons. so many macarons. Step number two would be picking three to four, maybe five if you want to push it, like monuments you want to spend time at. If you only have one day, you're not gonna be able to spend a lot of time at the museums like the Louvre and L'Orangerie and- Yeah, we didn't um, even go inside the Louvre. And hung out We've already time. both been in the Louvre and I would have loved, like it would take, I read one, somewhere that to like see all the exhibits in the Louvre, it would take like over a month to see all of them because it's so huge. Right. We just walked around, we went and, and it was nice outside and we biked through um, to the Louvre Pyramid. We're at the Louvre, the Louvre Pyramid. We're not gonna go inside though. Nope, not today. Instead we're gonna get ice cream. <laughs> that's who we are. We biked to Notre Dame. I think we checked out L'Orangerie because that's a small one. You could check that out in a day. Is that one of the? That was the one with the museums. One, that was the museum with Monet's um, garden lilies. Oh yeah, that was cool. When then we ended at the Eiffel Tower. We watched the Eiffel Tower light up mm -hmm. and the sunset, and it was so pretty. And then along that way. We stopped and got macarons. The food places, I picked all of them because mm -hmm. I care way more about food than he does. You also care way more about France than I do. <laughs> uh, it was so good, it was so good. Um, but we got breakfast at Hotel Coyon, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. You should just go check it out because they renovated it and it's beautiful. I wanted to stop, I wanted to get macarons at Laundry, and then we got chocolates at Sebastian Gaddard. We biked and got ice cream at mm -hmm. um, Ber. I don't know. I still don't know how to say it. Ber Berthillion. Berthillion. I don't know. There's an H in there. I'm not sure if it's silent or how you say it. Do you remember? I still remember the ice cream. Oh my gosh, this caramel is so good. I got vanilla and I got salted caramel, and it was the most. I got mango and raspberry sorbets. I will remember that ice cream for the rest of my life. It was hands down the best ice cream I've ever we had. We watched the life. sunset from like the bridge and like under the bridge. And then we biked from there to the Eiffel uh -huh. Tower. And then it was just so nice. We got to just like casually stroll along and go to all these different places. And my favorite part of that day, this is how I would end your day by the way. Like at night when like bustling has gone down. Paris isn't like New York City. Like as it go gets later at night, like the, the city, whole city just gets quiet. The city totally and it's sleeps. it's beautiful. And we just biked, we biked from whatever that place was called where you look at the Eiffel Tower. We, we biked from Chocadero. All the way back to Hotel Chateau Fontenot, our hotel we were staying at. We biked all the way down there. And there was like, there were, we didn't pass a single car. And we just like biked through Paris. At night. I with all the lights that. and the streets just I like. I just gotta it. look over at you and watch you biking through France and just fall in love all over again. That was the, that was my favorite part of the day. Yeah. So for us, we liked finding a happy medium of being tourists and then also immersing ourselves in the city. Speed run. Tip one: go on bikes. Step two: pick a couple monuments you really want to see. Just a couple that you can do quickly. Step three: find things along your route, whether it be food or. Treats. I think honestly watching the Eiffel Tower light up at night was so romantic and so pretty and while you wait for it to light up you can watch street performers do weird things and it's also entertaining. Mm -hmm. And then watch or, and then bike through town at night. If you're looking for little things to do go get ice cream at go get macarons at La Douai. 
go get your French accent is like slightly go German. Get, go get chocolate from Sebastian Gauchon. <laughs> Do those things and you'll have a great day in France. That's it. That's our guide to Paris if you're in the city for 24 hours. Shout out again to our hotel that we stayed at, Hotel Chateau Frontenac. They were amazing mm -hmm. um, and just perfect location. Um, and shout out to all the other places in France that made us fat and happy. Let us know below if you want us to do more guide type things on our future travels on this channel because we have some awesome stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. oh, learn a couple of phrases. Step 10. I don't know what we're on. Step 10. Learn a couple of phrases in the language. Learn how to ask for water. In France, you say, Mizuku de say. That's how you sound, though. <laughs> okay, he's done. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>